Hey, what's going on guys? How you guys doing? Hey, this is Mario Bird here. Let me check here, um, make sure that everything is looking good because I have my laptop over here too. So I want to make sure everything is, you know, coming up clear and uh, looking good. It is. All right. All right. All right. So guys, I'm glad you're taking the time out uh, to check this out. So I want to um, talk to you here in this uh, video about uh, creating multiple streams of income and some of the um, things that you need to keep in mind with doing so and how you can also uh, get started in in you know creating uh, multiple streams of income if you aren't already doing it and aren't already you know um, benefiting from them because I, I heard of, you know, people, they get out there, man, and they do this and they believe that, you know, um, once you, you know, get this started, you don't have to do anything else. You know, you don't have to work it. You could just sit back and, you know, party or whatever, celebrate or, or what have you. But if you don't keep an eye on those, you know, income streams, those deals, hey, man, they may dwindle, dwindle away on you. OK, so um, the good thing about this. Um, what I love um, most definitely about uh, multiple streams of income is you aren't putting all your eggs in one basket, you know, because things can happen. You know, what if you have your job? OK, you have your job and, you know, while you get started on your you, you work in your job, you know, you get hurt and, you know, things happen. You get laid off. Um, the company goes out of business. I was a, a couple years ago. I was um, currently in this uh, one company building my business and everything and doing well man you know they made some bad decisions the company went you know upside down it went bankrupt and you know me and many others we end up losing our income in that company so creating multiple streams of income is just a wise thing i and you probably heard before where you know in your your business i'm not going against you know what your upline say or anything like, like that but you, you heard probably uh, when you're in your business, they tell you to don't do anything else, but to just focus on just, you know, building that business. And there that there's two parts uh, to that. Yes, that's true, especially when you get started and you are, you, you know, um, you need to focus. OK, and that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about here, because people that have multiple streams of income like seven eight figure earners and six figure earners and so forth you know they did it the way that i'm going to share with you here in this um this video so pay attention there's a way to do this and there's a way not to do this so pretty much in the essence of what your upline is telling you um to, to stay focused on just that um is is the right thing okay so let's go ahead and um, hit off on this. I'm not going to be long at all. So where can you start, you know, when you're wanting to um, create a multiple stream of income? Hey, you may be an um, online marketer. You may be a network marketer. You may be in some type of affiliate program. You start with one, building your primary business. Okay, building your primary business. That's where you start. And you do that, hit that thing, guys. Hit that thing for 90 days straight. Go hard with it. You know what I'm saying? Go hard, focus just on that. You know, and then once you start with that, you know, you know, and even if it take longer, it's okay. However long it take, start with that one and then go to the next because you don't want, like I just shared with you um, a, a few minutes ago, you don't want to spread yourself thin. You don't want to go in, you know, like some people um, do where they have multiple, you know, businesses, you know, network marketing businesses and, or whatever. And, you know, people that probably have, there's been people that I talked to that, that had three of them, some four. And you and when you really talk to them and they open up to you, you come to find out that pretty much one is really, you know, doing something. And, you know, the other ones are just pretty much dead in the water, you know, because network, you got to face it. Network marketing is not an easy business to, you know, it's not, you know, more or less two, 
to, to try to manage and create multiple streams of income. And don't get, get that out of your mind thinking that when it comes to multiple streams, that they all have to be network marketing. No, I'm going to show you. I'm going to share with you. They don't. All right? Let's go hit, the, hit that now. They could be a brick and mortar business. It could be a real estate business. It could be an online business. It could be an, an affiliate. It could be, you know, you know, network marketing. It could be whatever. You know what I'm saying? And none of these businesses have got to have any correlation one with another. But the most important thing to do, guys, is to start with one and focus on your primary business and build from there. OK, but let me share with you how I've been able to build to start off building two you know, on multiple streams of income at one time. And here, here's a cool thing about this, guys. Okay, you know, you guys know I'm in uh, network marketing. That's what I love. I like network marketing. I've been in it since, you know, um, 2005 and just been having a, just loved it, you know? So how I um, been doing this um, since I came online, it wasn't until uh, 2011 that I've been able to do this because, um, Using this tool, this marketing system, it helped me to build my business. So when I prospected to, when I prospected um, other um, people online on Facebook and so forth, and some of those people, um, they just happened to, to have network marketing businesses, you know, and they turned it down. So, and know this, guys. Let me just get this clear out of the water that I do not try to uh, get a person from one business to, to quit their business and join my business or continue in their business and join my business. No, I don't I don't do that. I mean I me personally, I think that's you know unethical. <laughs> ah, here I go with that. I just dropped the, the the camera, you know, but I'm still cool with it. You know, I'm still rolling with it. Things happen. You know, in business you get hiccups. I think that's funny, dude. You know, you get these type of hiccups. Things happen. But you got to roll with the punches like I just did when the camera fell, you know. And another thing, here's a cool thing about this. Um, and then we're going to get back on that. Another thing about with me, I get so nervous about these lives. I'm just going to say that. Um, there's been a couple lives that I do. I know you don't get much traffic when you do it like this. But um, I, I will have it on where only I can see it while I'm recording and then while it's going, then I'll turn it on public. I'm going to stop doing that, you know, because you always get way more engagement when this actually live. So let's just just wanted to get that out of the water. Hey, I just got it. I'm being thorough with y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is an issue that I have. You know, it was my boy, Stuart Dennison, that helped me out with making video. I was afraid of video. I still struggle with video, man, but I still do them. I got man. So let, let's get back on track. So, um, oh man, I lost my, my train of thought, man. Man, that's the good thing about having live. You, you guys can remind, hey, Rio, this is where you were at, you know. But um, needless to say, when I approached, oh, I was talking about I never try to get one person out of a business, their existing business, and try to get uh, recruit them into my business because I believe it's very unethical and unprofessional. That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? I would never try to do that. I use the uh, this Ray Higdon analogy. It's like, uh, um, you know, when you do that, it's like a, a, a single guy trying to ask uh, a married woman uh, to date him. Hey, if you ain't happy with your marriage, come date me or whatever. Date me anyway. You know, that's immoral, as foul, as low life. You know what I'm saying? I, I know by doing this with the business is not to that extreme, but you, you get you guys get the picture. Uh, but that's what I do, guys. I ask them, you know, um, what I do is I, I start talking to that prospect. And if they say they, they aren't interested, you know, in my business for whatever reason, maybe they have an existing business. One of the things that I do, you know, I say, hey, you know, well, you know, how are you doing with um, generating um, leads online? You know, and a lot of times, guys, believe it or not, they, they just come forward and they say, man, I'm not doing, you know, too well with this, you know, I'm generating leads and you know, whatever. I, I want to build a business or I don't, whatever it is. I want, I don't want to build it online, whatever, you know, most do, you know, because they want time freedom. They want, you know, they want that, that move around, that freedom. So what I, what I say is I'm using this system to generate leads and sales, you know, for my business. And I've been using it for about, you know, um, two years. 
You know, have you ever thought about, you know, generating leads online for your business? And most of most in most cases, people say yes. And then from that point, that's when I give them, a, um, you know, I give them a link to my my marketing system, which is tied to an affiliate uh, pro, which which has an affiliate program, which is amazing. So pretty much what what it what it's done is um, you complimented them. You know, they said no to that, but you still was able to help them out. So one thing when it comes to that, <laughs> you still build your primary business. But one thing you need to understand when it comes to that, you don't want to um, come off like the person say, hey, if you don't like if you don't like what's behind this curtain, take a look at this curtain behind this curtain right here. Curtain number two, you know, like, let's make a deal. You don't want to come off like that. You know, um, you know, that, that that's pretty much it, guys. You know, so. When it comes to um, uh, creating multiple streams of income, you know, and here's a, some things that you can do that you nine times out of 10, if you're already uh, marketing online, you probably ha at, you have at your disposable, disposal um, tools that you are already leveraging, such as autoresponders and uh, various, you know, marketing tools. Whereas, you know, a lot of them, the things that you're paying for, they have affiliate programs. So you could check down in the fine print and see if they have you know, uh, affiliate programs uh, tied to them. So you can offset your costs and also start to begin to create other streams of income by doing that. So leverage your tools, your marketing system. You know, the best way to do this, I love the most, are those that have monthly, you know, um, fees that and that keep that going on um, for you and helping them out also. So when they pay, you get paid, you know, invite and, and so forth, you know. So start where you're at, but start with creating one. And like I said, if you have a marketing system in place, you can leverage that along with uh, the others, along with the, the other um, system to, um, you know, um, start to uh, create um, multiple streams of income, guys. So guys, hey, if you like this live and it was, if you like this video and it was helpful to you, by all means, go ahead and you know, um, reach out, you know, um, like, love, share this with someone who you believe that this can help um, them out, you know, with, um, you know, in their business and so forth. And guys, um, go ahead and click the link also if you want access uh, to uh, the marketing tool that I use to, to build my online business. So, hey, this is Mario Bird. You know, I really hope uh, that was uh, very helpful to you guys. Hey, what's up, Keith Taylor, man? You know, I know I was going to end this, but what's up, man? I, I hope you're doing well. You know, everything going on, um, going good for you, man. I, I kind of was just, check this out, Keith. I was kind of um, finishing up here, you know. So check out the uh, recording, man. You know, uh, I was talking about um, creating multiple streams. Sorry about that, got uh, disrupted by the phone. So you guys make it a great day. Oh man, what's going on, bro? Yes, sir. We'll watch the replay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Check that out, Keith, man. Hey, I've been checking you out, man. I see you, you out there doing your thing. Awesome, man. Let's make sure that we, you know, um, connect on messenger and everything. Cause I, I got a couple questions for you and stuff, you know, you know, I see you in the ministry, you know, so that's a good thing, man. That's a good thing. So man, yeah, check that out, man. I'm going to go ahead and um, get off here and you guys make it a great day. God bless everybody. Peace.